The world commemorates Malaria Day to raise awareness about the mosquito-borne disease and examine efforts towards the prevention, treatment, control and the elimination of the disease. According to World Health Organization, over 600,000 deaths from malaria were reported in Africa in 2021. However, as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark this year's World Malaria Day, the Director of Medical Services of the Hospitals Management Board in Kano State, Dr. Suleiman Hamza, said that stakeholders in the health sector need to have a central coordination in the war against malaria. Over the years, Nigeria has been fighting to put an end to the deadly malaria scourge. According to the latest World Malaria Report, Nigeria accounts for about 31.9% of global malaria deaths, which is approximately 200,000 deaths in 2021, and over 60 million people are infected yearly. With this global report, the war against malaria is yet to be won in Nigeria. According to Dr. Suleiman Hamza, he says that the dirty environment across the country is a major challenge to stemming malaria scourge. The environment is not quite clean because this is one of the reasons why malaria is still thriving. If you go to our, our towns and villages and wards, you still see refuse dump littering everywhere. The Ministry Ministry for Environment, even though I cannot speak for them, but from what I am seeing on the road, they are doing a lot to keep the environment clean. But uh, it seems the people are not cooperating fully. For instance, in some areas of Kano City, people will bring out all the refuse dump from their uh, compound and gutters around them and dump them on the street. Uh, so this causes, it blocks the drainages and it causes a lot of havoc. So the environment is not quite clean and that is why malaria is still thriving. On the street of Lagos, residents share how often they take ill with diagnosis pointing to malaria and the remedy they apply. Sometimes in a month, like once in a month or twice in a month. As an adult, once in a month. But the kids, I can't count. Every day their body temperature is always high. When I have malaria, like sometimes I take anti-malaria. And if it not work for me, I used to take all these herbs. Because of the environment, the water. So the mosquito is too much. For me, it's maybe twice in a two months. And once it happens, uh, already I'm not the remedies. I can go to a pharmacist, but for then I have to do a kind of lab test to know the the, dose, the, the, the level of such. So when I go to a pharmacy, we know the right uh, medication for me, it would prescribe. And once I take it, I'm okay. I have malaria because I take care of myself often. So I do go for checkups and stuff like that. So no, not really. I don't really have sickness like that. Uh, sometimes I use normal herbs, like normal normal herbs, so sometimes I go to the hospitals, but normally I used to go to the hospitals. Too much get malaria, but anytime I feel like weak or headache, so I'll, I, there is one pharmacy in our side that I used to, that I recognize well, so when I go there, the man will treat me, give me the normal malaria drugs, so three, four days. The thing I've gone. So. I take all this agbo. They call it uh, little abas. The typhoid. They will give me the typhoid, the partial, because the malady, the agbo is hot. When we mix it together, when I take it, I will see the effect in my body. So later I go to the gym, I work out, I do exercise a lot. Cure. Dr. Suleiman discourages the use of herbs for the treatment of malaria. He explains that individuals with underlying health challenges could face serious complications from the use of unscientifically proven herbs to treat malaria. Treatment with herbs uh, is not encouraged. I do not encourage treatment of malaria with herbs uh, because of a lot of issues, sterility, dosage, and people with comorbidity, people with 
renal or uh, liver dysfunction can have problem with herbs. So I do not encourage it. Of recent, I know in ADU area, it has been tried. It is formulated in form of uh, a sachet that could be dipped into warm water and the water could. So that is a scientifically proven uh, herbs that can be used in the treatment of malaria. But the common herbs that once a person has malaria will go into the bush and then uh, pull out some leaves uh, and they possibly take it and it's not encouraged. This year's World Malaria Day theme harness innovation to reduce the malaria disease burden and save lives. It's no doubt a global wake-up call to all health sectors across the world to innovate new vector control approaches, anti-malaria medicines, and other tools to speed up the pace of progress against malaria. Gozika or HSE, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.